Kaboom! Yes, welcome to my Made Simple Attack Strategy Series for Town Hall 12. And today, we got a wonderful Town Hall 12 Attack Strategy with some Super Witches. Yes, guys. So we're going to check out some replays in just a moment where I'll show you how to use it. First of all, let's have a quick look at the army composition. So your army's going to be two wizards, four healers, one minion. Yes, that is Michael the minion, the most powerful troop in Clash of Clans. Then it's going to be four witches, four Super Witches, and one Headhunter. Spell is going to be eight Earthquake. One Rage, two Freeze, and then a Poison Spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle Troops are going to be two Yetis and four Barbarians. And normally, we're going to be using either the Flame Flinger or the Log Launcher, guys. So we're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, quick reminder, on this channel, we've got something called a Creator Code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code before making any purchases. It's easy to do if you want to enter the code. Uh, you just head on over to the shop, and there's a C emblem in the top right-hand corner. You click on that and enter the code there. Any support would be amazing, and you do need to renew it once a week. Anyway, let's jump into our first replay now. So through the clouds we go, and guys, we're going to be taking on a Town Hall 13 base here. It's not maxed out, no, but it's still impressive. So uh, what are we going to do? We're going to use those Earthquake spells to open up the base. I've overlapped them there to damage as many structures as possible and still sort of open up uh, a piece of the wall segment there. And then we've used the rest of the Earthquake spells on the centre of the base. Grand Warden Walk we're normally going to do. Well, it, it doesn't really walk far. It's more of a just funnel. Grand Warden Funnel. There we go. On the right hand side. Then a Super Witch. Couple of Witches on the other side there. And I do know from experience, if you send in a couple of Witches against the enemy king, he will get taken out. Because uh, he cannot deal with the Witches and their skeletons. So that's the other side of our funnel. And then we're just going to relax for a moment, guys. You can probably go to the shop, uh, buy some chocolate, go for a walk, uh, do some press-ups. Whatever you want to do, guys. And then... When the funnel is complete, we're going to attack the base. So there we go. Grand Warden has done a great job. Then we're going to send in the rest of the troops in the center with the log launcher. Look at those big boy troops. The skeletons there are really helping out now. Uh, the super witches. Are, going, are they going to go into the base? Yes, they are. This is pretty good. Our king is being inferno though. Am I going to save him with a free spell? Or am I going to forget about him? No, I saved him there. Uh, well done, Samus. Well done. Those logs flying out. Can we take out that town hall? It's going to be close. We're going to use a uh, poison spell on that super dragon that's emerged from the town hall. And this is looking pretty good. Can those yetis get in there and take out the eagle artillery and that single target inferno? That would be really good if they can. Uh, ah, we've got a super witch against the super dragon there. Who will win the super witch? Because she's got four healers. Uh, that's a bit excessive. Um, but she is going to do well over there. On the left-hand side, the Queen's there. We've got Mike the Minion to put on the battlefield as well. He's waiting. Are we going to get three stars? I think we are, guys. And like I said, it wasn't a maxed-out Town Hall 13, but yeah. And here he is, Mike the Minion, on the left-hand side of the base. He's there now, so we're going to get three stars, definitely. If Mike's on the battlefield, it's almost guaranteed, guys. Mike doesn't settle for two stars. No, he wants three. And that witch over there, Super Witch, sorry, is doing a great job. And now the big boy skeleton is being healed. And he said, yeah, don't worry. We're going to freeze these things here. Thank you very much. And the Super Witches, I really like them. Town Hall 12, they're great, uh, especially with the log launcher here. Earthquake spells, a great attack strategy, guys. I love it. And uh, the Super Minion is not there, but he is a Super Minion anyway. It's Michael the Minion. And he's just flying off. Can you get us three stars, please, Mike? Mike says, yes. No problem, Samoose. No problem at all. So there's our first replay. We do have another replay. And guys, do remember to hit that subscribe button once you've finished watching the video. Join the Samoose army. We've almost got 120,000 subscribers. So guys, on this replay, it is a friendly challenge, but we are taking out a pretty much maxed out Town Hall 13 base. A few wall segments, some traps. Uh, but yeah, a pretty impressive base. Can we take it out? Can we get three stars? I don't know about that. It's going to be difficult, but a high two-star percentage would be really good. So four Earthquake spells to damage the Town Hall and open up that base. Remember, with the Flame Flinger, if you're going after the Town Hall, watch out for enemy mortars, expos, because they can take out the Flame Flinger. They do outrange it. Send in maybe a, a Super Witch to help protect that Flame Flinger. Look for enemy traps. So we're going to leave the Flame Flinger alone for a moment. The King's doing a good job working his way down there. Just uh, taking out some buildings. Thank you very much. And then we're going to send in the Grand Warden. It's funnel time again, guys. It's funnel time. We've got those healers for him in a moment. Can the King... Can he take out the scatter shot? No, he cannot. Queen on the right hand side. That's one other side of our funnel. And then we're just going to send in the rest of the troops there. So, guys, I've got to be honest. Uh, the wall segments are open there. 
you know, we're just going for a high percentage attack here if we can get it because we've used the earthquake spells to open up the center of the base. I'm trying to get those troops into there. Now we're using a rage spell. Look at those big boy skeletons. They're doing a great job. And the healers are looking after them. Sometimes you've got to take on a base and think, you know what, we're not going to three star it. But can we get a decent two star percentage? Maybe in War of the Clan War League that would help out. We've taken out the town hall anyway. And those yetis have emerged from the flame flinger. We're at 43%. How high can we go, guys? Can we get to... I said 70% would be good. 70% I'd be happy with. So Super Witch is over there on the left-hand side taking out the Expo. They're on ground mode. That's not what we like to see, guys. We don't like to see ground mode Expos. Can we take out the Eagle Artillery, though? Uh, those big boy troops are saying, just give us a moment, please. Uh, yeah, we'll go after the Eagle Artillery now. Thank you very much. And the Eagle Artillery is gone. We're at 50-odd percent. We're nearly at 60%. Whatever happens now, guys, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this attack. So, guys, if you are looking for a new attack strategy that's going to sort of be powerful against Town Hall 12s and get you, or give you a good chance of getting a high percentage two star against Town Hall 13s, or maybe even three star against maybe not, not maxed out Town Hall 13s, and I think this is a really good attack strategy for you. Um, are we going to get 70%? That's what I want, guys, really. Um, but I don't think we're going to get that. It's going to be close. But anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, guys. Join the Samus army. And uh, of course, do remember, guys, one last thing. Remember to practice your funneling. It's very important. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.